Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, we're going to go over some great apps for your new iPad. So if you just picked up the new 6th generation iPad, or maybe even an iPad Pro, these apps will definitely help you get the most out of your device in terms of productivity and creativity. A lot of apps featured in this video work well with the Apple Pencil, and although these apps can cost a bit of money, they are well worth the price for the power and functionality that they provide. Our first app is called Procreate, and it's pretty incredible if you're an artist, graphic designer, etc. With over 130 brushes ranging from pencils, paintbrushes, pastels, and spray paints, there are tons of tools available to help you create your work of art. It works really well with the Apple Pencil, and the resolution capability from Procreate is massive. Not to mention, its 64-bit color gives you amazing performance and great color depth. Now all of this sounds great, but what if you're not an artist? I'm not an artist by any means, I'm actually pretty horrible at drawing, I like to doodle just as much as the next person, but this app might not be worth the $10 price tag for basic doodling. I have however found a very useful feature that I think a lot of other content creators might enjoy. The app title screens that are featured in this video were all created from Procreate, giving me some awesome new assets to work with when editing. Procreate also records all of your brush strokes and activity during a project, and you can actually export that video and then import it right into your editing app of choice. So I can easily send this video straight to my iMac Pro using AirDrop, and then add it to my timeline and mess around with the titles to my liking. If you really want to continue working on your iPad, and who knows, maybe just want to create an entire video on your iPad, LumaFusion is a great alternative to iMovie as it features a lot of additional features that make you feel like you're using an editing suite on a desktop. LumaFusion offers three audio and video tracks for videos, graphics, and photo editing, as well as additional tracks for narration, sound effects, and music, etc. Layer multiple styles and effects, full color correction, chroma key filters for green screens, unlimited keyframes, and many more. I know video editing on an iPad can be a bit cumbersome, and we are probably not there quite yet for videographers and editors to solely rely on their iPad as their main editing machine, but LumaFusion can certainly help bridge the gap. Affinity Photo is a desktop class photo editing app that's available on the iPad, and it's a useful app for both photo editing and drawing with support for unlimited layers, photo adjustment tools, filters, retouching, and more. It does require a powerful processor, so it's only compatible with the iPad Air 2, the 5th and 6th generation iPads, and iPad Pro models. And you can use the iPad for drawing and selectively editing. Using Affinity Photo makes me feel like I'm using a desktop version of Photoshop on my iPad, and if I'm continuing my trend of editing videos and getting work done, Affinity Photo definitely helps. I can actually treat Affinity Photo the same way that I would Photoshop. I mainly use Photoshop for some graphics and thumbnails for each video that I make, and this app, once you get used to where everything is at, will feel very natural and easy to use. Taking things one step further, AstroPad can help turn your iPad into a graphics tablet for your Mac, similar to a Wacom tablet. Once you get everything set up on your iPad and Mac, you can actually interact with your MacBook as you normally would, but using your iPad. Using your Apple Pencil and an app like Photoshop will truly give you an extra level of precision that you wouldn't get with the mouse when performing tasks with the lasso tool, drawing shapes, coloring, etc. AstroPad is compatible with just about any app on your Mac and could be a really useful tool for those who want their iPad as a graphics tablet. Finally, our last app is a useful utility to help get more done when typing up long documents, putting together presentations, and just copying a lot of text and piecing it together in various parts of a project. Copied is a free clipboard manager that can be used to save snippets of text that you've copied on the iPad, letting you keep track of text, links, images, and more. Snippets you've saved can be easily inserted into new documents, and on the iPad, Copied supports full drag and drop functionality and multitasking. Now the iPad does already offer native drag and drop, but a clipboard manager is something iPad users could definitely use when you need to reference back to a few images or text that was copied a few hours or days ago. There is an in-app purchase available to upgrade to Copied Plus, which will give users the ability to save more clippings, organize and create lists, have iCloud sync, and more. Let us know your favorite iPad apps that help keep you productive, creative, etc. in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.